It's me, Mario! Hello! Okay. Um, hey guys, it's Ninja Spaghetti. And I'm gonna be doing something a little... A lot different from normal. Right, let me get my Bible app open. Um, so I'm trying this project called Let's Preach. Which is a combination of a Let's Play and, um, like a Sunday morning sermon. Ooh. That's a nice big font. Uh, it's good, because it's actually, it's exactly 10 p.m. right now, and I'm extremely tired, because I went to work today and all that. Blah, blah, blah. Physical labor is a nightmare. But pretty much what I want to do is I want to be able to preach at the same time as Let's Play. Because, like, preaching, I'm going to give a little backstory. Preaching is something I've wanted to do for a very long time. Um, I've wanted to do it for probably four or five years now. But I don't really have, I don't really have the, um, the opportunity to. But I figured, why would I wait for an opportunity when I can create my own? So that's where this came from. I'm going to be pretty much ignoring all dialogue, by the way. Alright, so let's just jump right into this. Um, this first episode is Genesis 1-1. Because a lot of people don't really know where, where exactly you came from. Um, so I... Now that was weird. I don't know how I jumped because I had my my phone in my hand. Anyway, um, it'll be kind of broken up too. I'm not gonna. I'm managing to play with one hand. This is actually a little impressive. Can I set this down? Yeah, I can. So I don't need to hold it. All right. So Genesis 1:1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, what that states there, um, I'm gonna be breaking it up a lot because my father is a Sunday school teacher and. Oh my gosh, I can't, I couldn't backflip, um, I have no clue what I'm doing. My father's a Sunday school teacher, so I'm, like, quite practiced in, uh, not necessarily practiced, but I've seen it done a lot. Anyway, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and empty, a darkness covered the deep waters, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. Now, one thing that, um, I just noticed here... I didn't uh, pre-read the, the verse because I figure Genesis 1-1 I should know this, uh, which I do pretty much. Um, it says that there is one that God was on Earth, which is a little interesting. having a lean okay um yes it says that that God was on earth it also says the earth which is another fascinating thing um also it says that there's water on earth so I'm curious I mean this is just speculation I have no idea um I wonder if the world was um kind of formed in a way not necessarily like completely formed but like maybe it was all water I mean again there's there's no way of knowing without dying and I don't plan to do that anytime soon especially if this let's let's preach thing goes well I'm gonna share it to like Facebook and stuff um anyway let's proceed then God said let there be light and there was light and God saw the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. He called the light day and the darkness night. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, New Living Translation version. Normally I read, um, King James Version, because it has a lot in it. Um, but I did not, because I figured it would be really hard for people to understand. Right, let's see, where are we at? And the evening passed, and the morning came, marking the first day. Then God said, Let there be space between the waters and separate the waters from the heavens from the waters of the earth. The waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. Now that also says that there's water in heaven, which is good because I drink a lot of water. It's probably, it's actually, um, probably unhealthy. I've, I don't have water intoxication, so I mean, maybe it's not that bad, but at the same time, um, it's probably not good, the quantity of water I drink. 
Anyway, um, I have to focus for a second because I have to actually pay attention to this. I mean, I don't really have to pay attention to it, I just kind of have to look at the screen. That was unfortunate. That was, again, unfortunate. One thing I dislike about this race, especially in speedruns, is that, um, he, the Koopa, runs at the same speed no matter how fast you go. So you will beat him there, and he will do no good. He will still be running. Okay, um... Let there be wa- Let there be space between the waters to separate the waters from heaven from the waters of earth. And that is what happened. That's actually kind of a funny sentence there. That- that just- it's really bland, honestly. God made the space to separate the waters of earth and the waters from heaven. God called the space sky. Let me scroll down. And evening passed and morning came, marking the second day. Um, I don't know how long these episodes are going to be as well. Um, just kind of a thing. I, it's going to be kind of like I'll finish my passage and then I will proceed to um, the next episode. Which I actually I have the first two planned out on what I want to do with them. Um, bro. Bro, talk to me. Uh... Then God said, let the waters beneath the sky flow together in one place so dry ground may appear. So yeah, what it says there is that um, there, there was only water on Earth. So that, again, raises the question, was there ground on Earth as well? May possibly what it was was that there was like a, a watery coating, perhaps? This, I was worried about this because I am very, very um, straightforward about my thoughts, like... I have to know the scientific answer to things. Which is why I believe in what I believe. Um, but it's very, very difficult for me to, like, it's hard for me to grasp the concept of God just because it's not, you can't, like, condense it into a scientific concept. Which is very, very difficult. I mean, I still believe in it and all that. Um, anyway. And that is what happened. God called the dry ground land. I didn't look what this was. Let's find eight red God called the dry land ground. The dry ground land, sorry. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the ground sprout with vegetation. I like that word, vegetation. These, I'm actually surprising, like, I have to look at the screen several times. I might have to put a Bible stand in front of my screen. That way I can kind of defocus off my screen. Um... Let's see. Every sort of seed-bearing plant and tree that grows seed-bearing fruit. These seeds will then produce kinds, produce the kinds of plants from trees that which they came. Now, one thing I want to point out is it does not say species. It does not say um, breed. It says kind. Now, that's a, a common misconception. That's why I bring it up, is because it's a very common misconception. People are like, how did uh, Noah fit the... Because um, there's like 15 different types of dogs, just like uh, small dogs. Um, and the thing is, he says kinds, not species or breeds, which um, clarifies the point of it's not chihuahua, bulldog, pit bull, uh, it's dog, and that's, um, thank you, that was, um, I remember I heard that point and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so correct, and I didn't even realize it. Ah. Um, let's see, I'm gonna die. I look down at my phone for a second, and I come back up, and I'm being hit repeatedly. Let's see. From which they came, and that's what happened. The land produced... Gotta scroll up again. The land produced vegetation. Come back, life. Come back. Produced vegetation, all sorts of seed-bearing plants. All the... 
and and trees with seed bearing fruit. Jeez, I'm sorry about the disjointedness. It's it's tough. It is actually really, really hard to do these at the same time. I didn't expect that. Um And God saw that it was good. And there was an evening passed and morning came marking the third day. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is really a really hard hundred coins to do. Um Then God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. Let them be signs to mark the seasons, days, and years. So that's another thing. He literally just brings up... He brands all of these um, names right here. And, like, you could say that it's not in the King James Version, but it is in the King James Version, which is about as original as you're going to get. I think... Actually, I don't know what version the original Bible was written in. Possibly Arabic? Maybe Hebrew? Jewish? Something like that. Wait, is Jewish a language? Anyway. Um, let these lights in the sky shine down on earth. And that is what happened. God made two great lights. The larger one to govern the, govern the day, and the smaller one to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights... I can't get the... I can't run in a circle. Um, God set these lights in the sky to light the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from darkness. Hop. The light from darkness. I fell. Actually, I actually need to come down here anyway. Open this gate. Govern the day and the night, separate the light from darkness, and God saw that it was good. And the evening passed, and morning came, marking the fourth day. Oops. Now, on the fifth day, this is when things get interesting. Um, God said, let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that scurries and swar swims swarms in the water. And every sort of bird each producing offspring of the same kind. Again, kind. Not not breed, not species. So with Dar Darwin's finches, it's... That's one thing. With Darwin's finches, it's actually not evolution. It's adaptability to the environment. Which, if you think about it, if a god were to make um, an environment that could sustain life, don't you think that... Ow. Don't you think that they would um, be able to adapt to the, the environment? Because God knew that there was going to be peeps. Oh, uh, one thing I want to show off real quick is just that you could do this. Also, the bottom of this, no one points this out. This is, you can walk on it, or you can climb on this for some reason. It's very, very bizarre. Um, and God saw that it was good. Then blessed them, saying, be fruitful and multiply. Let the fish fill the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth. To go back on this island. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the fifth day. One thing that's interesting is he created birds before he created dogs and stuff. Now that was actually kind of impressive, in all honesty. Ow. Um, then God said, let the, pro let the earth produce... Every sort of animal, each producing offspring of the same kind. Kind. Fascinating, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna die. Uh, this is what happened. And wild animals. And this is what happened. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock, small animals, each able to produce offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make human beings in our image. Now, another thing I want to bring up. He doesn't say, I think I'll... He says, let us. Which already provokes the thought, Jesus and the Holy Spirit are already there. Like, they're already in heaven. Oh look, there's the star. Um, 
So that kind of gives you a, a spectrum. So they've been all the time. They have been. There's no... There, they were, and then they became. They have been. Oh, don't land on the star, please. Um, in our image, that they be to be like us, they will reign over the fish in the the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, and all wild animals on earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. Scroll up. So God created human beings in His own image. So. Um, when they depict God and they depict him like a human, that's why. Is because we are God, in a way. I mean, obviously we are not God. I'm gonna die. Um, crap. But we are depicted to be God. To be like God, not to be God. That's a completely different statement. Um... Hang on, I'm just gonna grab this star because I'm about to die. Here we go. Then God blessed- oh, no wait, I missed a spot. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. So that right there is stating that there's only two genders. Male and female. Male and female. Remember that. That's an important statement. A lot of people don't quite understand that anymore. And that's not even me being ignorant, that's... that's what they are. Um... One thing that's funny is they say that, uh... If you study chromosomes, and tell them why there's only male and female, using science, it's, um... outdated. That's fascinating, isn't it? Anyway. Then God blessed them all... Bless them and said, Bree, bre, 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 be, jeez, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and govern it. Reign over the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Also, one thing that's fascinating. So I'm wondering. He. Hmm. Now I'm gonna have to meditate on this later. Um. Then God said, Look, I have given you. Every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth and fruit trees for your food. And I have given you every green plant as food for the wild animals. This says don't eat grass. <laughs> That's funny. Um, for food of all the wild animals, birds of the sky, and small animals that scurry along the ground. Everything that has life and everything... And that is what happened. Then God looked over all that he had and made and said that it was good. And then, evening passed and morning came, marking the sixth day. Now there's, there's more, but I have to pay attention very briefly. I imagine it's going to get a lot harder to do this later in the Let's Play, when I can actually form, or when I can't actually form thoughts anymore. I can't believe that took me that long. Let's scroll down. Oh! Okay, that's actually the end of the passage. Um, I'll probably cover... I'll cover the next... I'll cover Genesis 2 at a later date. Um, that's actually a good stopping point, too. So, thank you all for watching. My name is Ninja Spaghetti. And um, let me know what you think of this, this concept in the, in the comments. Because I think it's a fantastic idea. Because it allows me to preach, which I've wanted to do for a long time. I'm playing with my necklace now, I guarantee you can do that. Um, I've wanted to do it for a long time, and I also wanted to record Mario 64, but it has to be different because everyone does Mario 64. Anyway, um, let me know what you think in the comments, and I, I hope you all have a good day today, which will probably be Sunday, honestly. Anyway, bye.